stuck fast. Please, good sir. The spear, seize it and pull. I can nearly taste sweet air once more. I suffered enough here. Yeah? It's stuck fast. Defenseless here. Prepare yourself.
I know they help. I am glad to see you. You fill me with peace. Yes, please ask. Oh, I do not cover my eyes. I cover the place they used to be. They are gone now, taken. But I see all the same. He is a very blind man. He sees things but not truth, not love or joy. I feel very sorry for him. You understand when you meet him, after you escape. My home is far. Your language gives me some trouble. We elves, time for us is now. There is not then and when. It is safer here. We make no trouble for Griff. He makes no trouble for us. Her eyebrows shoot up. There can be a way, Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? He knows how to leave. She nods quietly, as though she knew this all along. He is caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. A way out. Ah, you help him. Your open heart surprises even me. You bless me. You, the Red Demon, the exiled pig. I'd heard they'd sent you here, but I'd hoped you'd have drowned yourself before crossing my path. Bow before pigs and you'll be stained with mud. I do not bow before pigs. Get away from me, pig prince. Now! This hole is too small for you to squeeze into. The cat's eyes are clouded and gray, but it stares at you with acute intensity. What's going on? My, the giant takes notice of its charges. Ask away, she. Indeed, Quacker.
This hole is too small for you to squeeze into. This hole is too small for you to squeeze into. Being compact's got its benefits. I fear it will be quite some time before we find any answers at all, my friend. Though, it doesn't hurt to ponder. Hmm? Goods? Ah, yes. Yes, of course. Have a look. Wanted. Got it. Hey, Snake Face. What you heard about a crate of stolen supplies? And don't you lie to me now. If I did. I wouldn't give them up to you. Griff sent me, not you. Look, I'm Griff's right hand, and I'm gonna find that crate, and you're gonna watch me hand it over to him. Fit for beasts. Worse than war rations, these. Don't tell anyone where you got this, eh? Got it. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did need so much. there. 
An elf, caked in mud and blood, looks up at you from the bottom of the cage. He holds his shoulder at a strange angle. Despite his condition, he appears eager for your attention. You... You... Believe what he says? That I am a thief? He perks up and wipes his face with his good hand. Sahela, you speak to her? She is all right then. Good. Huh. She sees my trouble, of course. She already knows. And she knows I help you out of here in exchange. I am grateful. Your freedom for mine. A good deal. Thank you. And hurry. An elf caked in you. You <laughs> believe he perks up. Sahela, you speak to her. She sees my trouble, of course. She it is all prepared. It is ready. I am too weak to go. But I must care for Sahela. You release me, and I show you the way out. I am no fool. If you can leave, you do leave. Free me first. Then I tell you everything I know. I intend no harm. I want only some provisions. A bit of bread, a potato or two. Nothing Griff should be loath to give. I need to escape and, and I have... people to consider. You understand. Griff is a powerful man. Power is mysterious, in case you haven't <clears throat> noticed. I see no one. In fact, I only hear the sound of Griff clearing his throat. You know how he does? <clears throat> like so. For some time, I think Griff takes his own supplies. But I see the anger in him that he does not find it. He truly does not find what he seeks. Thank you. And... Griff glances from his blade to you and back again. He turns the card over and holds it up to the light, smirking. Got your hands on my sparkler, did you? Well, put it to good use. The louses I have at the card table could use a good shake-up. You already know the terms. Nothing else to say. Sure, have a look. Some more rations, these. Don't tell anyone where you got this, eh? Keep it down, will ya? Ain't fit for beasts. Nice and slow. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves didn't eat so much. She smiles and gives you a long, meaningful look. 
Soon. to leave this place. I can't get it out of my head. Still on your feet, eh? Glad to hear it. Feel free to take a gander at the stock, if you're so inclined. Fella in that cage is the thief. Stashed the oranges somewhere before he was caught. If you believe that. Sure do. Ask me. It'd have to be one of those sad... She darts her tongue out of her mouth like a... Some folks and some reptiles. I see plenty of liars in my line of work. Snakes, weasels, work. Sure you don't want to have a look at my stock before you go? I was serious about what I said. Everything in my pack's been got by special means. Only the finest, you know. We find sources so dangerous. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did meet so much. want now make it quick if boss trusts you to find something for him you better not disappoint him you won't like him when he's disappointed uh, yeah boss is a uh, awful passionate about citrus I can't get enough of the stuff you mean that guy in the cage oh I don't associate with elves Fella says he's innocent, but you know how they lie. Boss will be fine. He's got himself in a fit state now, but as soon as another shipment comes in, he'll be right as rain. Still here. Thought you would have gotten cured by now. The Reds usually take pity on the weak ones. Heard of anyone that might have taken Griff's supplies yet? Empty? Who gives a goblin's ass? The point is to get back the supplies inside. Come on, noggin first, eh? Just like everyone else. But don't worry. Nothing happens in this camp that Griff don't find out about sooner or later. Save yourself. Embrace divinity. Your kind is troubled, but not beyond salvation. Say what you will about the Divine Order. Say what you will about the Bishop and the Hammer. They're the only ones looking after us now that the Div... No, no. She don't listen to reason. Maybe you'll have better luck than I. If I have to hear calling after her, and I'm not... Please, I'm sorry, but you must leave. My baby's terrified Come of lizards. Oh, man. She may be hiding from you even now. Day. Irma! <laughs> Irma, darling, are you here? Please, sweetheart, where are you? I'm sorry, but you have to go.
Don't disturb me again, unless you've seen me go. You have seen him? Tell me, where was he? And you're... you're very sure it was him. She inspects the ring closely. This can't be. You said he was upon the beach, yes? I need to have a look myself. This... This simply can't be. Darling, miss. Pop, is that... Is that really you? Little Yarrow Girl. Grown up, flower-headed girl. What have they done? She looks at you with hatred etched deeply in the lines of her face. I didn't want any of this. Ha! I'd die a thousand deaths before I'd see this go unpunished. Don't be obscene. He's as human as you or I. They've only put him through something... something terrible. It's... Strange. It almost reminds me of the creatures Dallas keeps at her side. Sometimes you hear a kind of muttering beneath their masks. She reaches out to touch her father's hand. He withdraws it quickly before remembering himself and reaching out to Yarrow again. I had no idea. What a fool I am. There were always rumors about the hammer. Dallas, that is. What she was doing with the prisoners she hauled off to her fortress. Why they never joined the rank and file thereafter. I suppose... I suppose now I know. Wait, before you go... You've helped us a great deal today. Let me help you too. I have a little gold on me, and take this key. I'll show you where you can use it. It opens a door leading into the fort that may help you get out of this wretched place. It isn't too late for you. Not yet. Don't think of the ugly now. Here I am, here you are, here we are. Papa, what's happened? What have they done to you? Pop, what did she do to you? Can you remember? Worms, darling. Worms in my head. Really writhing. Crawling about. <laughs> I'm not myself, Yarrow girl. I'm sorry, darling. Don't you dare apologize. 
This is not your fault. Collar, on, sauce, gone, go! Move along, eh? Don't want to get the Atusa treatment myself. You again? Make it quick.
Change your mind about my offer yet? Too tight. You're lost, my friend. The dwarf slaps his knees and ch They stole me boots and burned me hat, but beast of the sea will come asking for me. They locked me up with a pig and a rat, but beast of the sea will come asking for me. Oh, not bad for being off the top of me head. He bows to an almost comical depth, then rises and laughs. Welcome right to the joy, my One famed right friend. Right well, I wasn't feeling so welcome till now. You almost had me dancing. You get any more songs in you? This savage beast could use some soothing. Well, I got a right good rebel whooper on hand, warning of the barbaric beast. The others, well, it ain't so respectful, but royal guards folk on holiday always ate it up. Gotta admit, I'm tired of hearing the shanties all singing my praises. Let's hear the royalist tune. I bet it dresses me down real good. One royalist tune coming up. Oh, Macca smiles, bastard born, the mannered life enraged him. A gnashing varmint he became, so queen sought then to cage him. A pitiful sight, his inadequate fight, the quivering lump sent out a queen's sight. Macca smiles, bastard born, the royal knights upstaged him. Ha! I knew there'd be some good lines in there. Quivering lump. It's too funny to be mad at. The Royal Guard. It'd sing this while wandering the hinterlands, looking for rebels in the shadows. It was some time ago, of course. Back when you were banished to the Isle of Mists. Beast looks to the ground for a moment, but just a moment. His cheeks rise and redden, and he roars in laughter. <laughs> Those were the days, eh, chum? Well, I've got to get moving. Good to see a friendly face, though. Ain't too many wandering around this glum camp. What if his death caused it? So, Void Woken are attracted to swords. But why? When another divine arises... The woman is scrabbling at her throat, as though she can hardly breathe. Don't touch me! You're too close. This collar, this place, it's squeezing the life from me. It won't <gasps> budge. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. She stares at you as if you're mad, but then it starts to work. Captivated by your cool regard, her breathing slows and her panic subsides. Job done. Thank you. It's too... Oh, I don't it's think I ain't too tight. Tight. That ship ship flew just to this road. What of it? Yeah, what of it? If you don't like the game, Topsy, you can fold. No, no! Just cause oh, the ten of bottles of mead, oh. Two a thousand bottles of dust. One right there. 
right there. One right there. Who left the sign with a scum? You remember what I said? No sense in going at this whole mean world alone. <laughs> 